Good afternoon, happy hump day. Thanks for coming back, my name is Brian. Today I am going to do another Fiona style pour using my split cup. And I am also experimenting with the uh, pearl colors from Amsterdam. Everybody seems to be on the bandwagon playing with the pearls. So I thought I would try this with a split cup and um, using all pearl colors except one. So this is gonna be a total experiment. I haven't even tried this out yet. So fingers crossed this works out. So let's get down on the canvas and we'll get started painting. Be right back. Okay, so what I've got is a 20 by 24 gallery wrap canvas. I've got it taped and push pinned on the back. So today I'm using five colors. I'm using Amsterdam pearl colors. I'm using the red, the violet, the green, and the blue. And then I'm also using Amsterdam in the Prussian blue. Now my paints are mixed with mix pour. You can get your mix from Krista Rasmussen at Krista8974 at gmail.com. I'm gonna be filling up my uh, split cup here. So this is a 24 ounce split cup that a friend of mine made. Few of you have asked me about these. I am going to talk to her on Wednesday about if she can make some for other people. I'll let you know. Um, I painted my sides and edges with the Prussian blue because the Prussian blue is a semi-transparent color. It doesn't co uh, cover very well. And as well with mix, you have uh, transparency as well. So um, these are nine ounce cups. And what I did is I put about five ounces of the mixed pour and then about two ounces of the pearl colors. And then I had to add a little bit of water to a couple of them to make sure they were all the same consistency. So what I plan on doing is I'm going to do the Fiona style pour and then tilt it out. Now these colors and the pearl colors are going to look differently wet versus when they dry. So I'm very excited to see how this comes out. Now, I'm gonna be doing a very special layering. I'm going to use each pearl color in each chamber, but I'm gonna separate them with the uh, Prussian blue. So let's get started and I'll explain. Okay, so I made a little cheat sheet on how I'm gonna layer these. So my first chamber is gonna be Prussian blue, red, Prussian blue. My second chamber is gonna be violet, Prussian blue, violet. The next chamber is Prussian blue, green, Prussian blue. And the last chamber is gonna be blue, Prussian blue, and the blue. All right, let's see if I can keep this straight in my head. I'm only gonna need about 17 ounces of paint. This, like I said, this is a 24 ounce cup, so we're not gonna fill it up all the way. Now the two middle chambers are much bigger than the two outside chambers, so I'm not gonna quite fill that up, or maybe I will, we'll see. So this one now, we're gonna start with the violet. one Prussian blue gosh I hope I have enough Prussian and I don't think I am shoot
Okay, now the last chamber is going to be the blue. Russian. And the blue. I definitely have way more paint in here than I need. Transfer this back over here. I'm gonna thin down a little bit of the Prussian blue to use as a puddle to pour into. Okay, so now what I'm hoping for is because I'm using this dark blue, Prussian blue, when these colors dry on this dark blue, you're going to see them much better. They're really going to pop. So I've thinned down some Prussian blue. I'm going to pour here, right here in the middle. this out a little bit. All right, I'm going to pour up from high. All right, there's a lot going on here. Paint was super, super thick. We might get overrun with the Prussian blue. We shall see. Let's give this a torch. Just gonna give this a little bit of flow extender around the edge. So it's a lot jumbled here. This ends over here, I'm not real crazy about, so that will be the first way to go off. Once everything gets anchored over the side, then things will open up a little more. So let's get started.
I'm gonna hold it right here for now. Let me reevaluate what I'm seeing. Loving everything through this. I think I wanna bring this up a little bit more this way. All right, I'm gonna leave it right here. I'm gonna clean up my edges and I will torch and then I'm gonna bring you guys in. But this really is cool. It's giving me like a cyclone. Like I see a funnel cloud coming through here. But I'm loving it, loving it. I can't wait to see how these things dry, these pearls. They're just, I think we've got the violet and the red in here. It's just everywhere, so it's gonna be, it, it, what's gonna happen is when it dries, that's gonna be the telltale sign of what color is where. Here we go, check this sucker out. This is really cool. I really can't wait to see this dry. What you see right now, it is not gonna look like this dry. So I'm very excited to see what's gonna happen. Let me bring you in here. You can already start to see some of this red popping in there. Or it could be the violet, I don't know. We're gonna see, see that looks like it's violet. <clears throat> that looks like it could be red. Maybe violet. All right guys, I'll let you see this dry. I'm hoping this is gonna dry because I'm painting this today, Tuesday. And I'm premiering, obviously, on Wednesday, so I'm hoping this is going to dry in time. All right, I'll be right back. All right, here we are with the dried results. So I'm trying to get the best light so you can see the colors. But you can really see the red, the violet, the green there in the middle. It also has green throughout to the top right, right in the center. So let me bring you in. I'll bring a closer look. These colors, these pearl colors, really take on a different form when they're wet, and then once they dry, they really pop. I love this so much. 
It's a little busy, but that's okay. All right, everyone, that's gonna do it for today's video. So that is it. You can see the pearl colors much better inside than you can outside. So we've got the violet through here, some over here. You've got some of the green through there, the blue, uh, the red is going up through here, some violet there, the blue, some green. So it's, it's throughout the entire piece. Um, the sun wasn't quite shining on it well enough outside so you can see it, but I think you can see it better in here. Um, this is very busy. Um, my paints were way too thick. Um, if you notice when they were coming out of the cup, they were piling up like a, like ice cream coming out of a ice cream machine. Um, I should have thinned them down a little bit more like I did in the previous pour. So I am going to actually paint today for a piece that's going to go up on Sunday. I'm going to do another piece and I might change out the colors a little bit. I'm definitely not gonna use the Prussian blue. I like the Prussian blue, but I, I wanna try something different. Uh, but I will use the same pearl colors. I might even add in one or take one out, so we'll see. But uh, that video will go up on Sunday, so. All right, everyone, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. That'll let you know when I do post new video content. All right, I'll see you on Sunday. Everyone, have a great week. Bye-bye.